Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers, and we're playing against Icy. Uh, see what they decide to do here, and they give us uh, a little bit of a flooded hand, but we can we can work with this. I think we'll keep it. Get our Ash Bears going. Oh, I'm yawning. Oh boy. Sorry about that. Oh, we get another plane. It's not exactly what I want to see. Thraben. Cool. All right. Plated. All right. Let's just lord it up. Get him out there. Passing, all right. Lead the stampede isn't too bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw out what I can throw out right here. Uh, actually, do I want to get out? I think we'll get out him. We can swing in. Swing in for two. Set up for a nice lead the stampede next turn. Draw on some cards, that's fair. Pajuka gains some life, that's fair. That's not Pajuka, that's Radiant. Okay. And Lightning Bolt. Alright. Sure thing. We did a lot of work for that. Yeah, I think we're just gonna lead. Don't find anything good. It's uh, pretty tragic. Just get down more creatures, pass to them. Now we'll get uh, set up to be out of range of any more lightning bolts, I suppose. It's a weird deck they're playing right now. Journey? Journey what? It's not a great journey, but sure. Another lead. Well, let's go for it. There we go. We at least got a lord. So that's good. that out there we'll start swinging in with this one just setting up for future turns that's all alchemist all right This is such a janky deck right now. I don't even know what's going on. Artifact lands, Radiant Found, Skewered Barons, Lightning Bolt, Golden Egg. 
It's like a weird version of aggro. We got the glint hawk, like, doesn't make any sense. But sure, you know. Doing a whole lot of nothing. Alright, um... Yeah, let's just play stuff out, I suppose. Do I want to just swing in here? I think I just want to swing in here. Yeah, we're gonna. I can't do anything to our board, so we might as well swing out for some good damage. gonna take it all all right I don't mind pass to them Just some weird version of Orzov aggro with a splash of red. And we'll go to game two. There we go. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. What can we bring in here? Could do some gleeful just to get rid of their journeys that they bring down on us. Playback doesn't seem spectacular. A little slow. Uh, do I want anything else? Nah. Nah, not really. Maybe a fireball, but I'm fine with this. We got plenty enough power right here. Uh, I will keep this. It's a little slow, but we got a few one drops we can be playing out for a bit. No turn one Thraben, that's fine. Getting lords, that's cool, but we need to definitely draw land now. Cycling. Radiant, prophetic, sure. Give me a land. Yes, there we go. Uh, let's just throw out a couple things. There we go. Get a few guys in play. Make them scared. Sure. What are you going to grab? Mountain, that's what I thought. Alright. Galvanic Blast him, sure. Glint talk. no big deal. If we can keep curving out, we'll be in really good shape. I'd love to be able to draw another land here, play a uh, Lord and a Sidewinder. Well, it's... It's a land, but it's not untapped, unfortunately. So we'll pass it over again. Sure. Got more removal sitting in your hand? Alright. 
Same game plan. Galvanic Blast that shirt. We got another one right here. Now we can attack in. But allowed all the removal. We good to go. Now I think next turn we'll play the Gemite into the Sinew. Seems reasonable. Journey. Well, that's why we brought in the Gleeful, so if we draw into one of those, we can get our Lord back. Oh, you're taking my flanking. Okay. Can you remove my sinew as well? Interesting choice. Well, if you want to trade off with the Glint Hawk, if you can kill my lord, so be it. Doesn't look like they can. So now we're just set up for going wide in future turns. Guy Fisher, pop that prophetic prism back. Let's do it. Oh, you're doing the journey. Interesting choice. Just so you can retarget a lord, I guess. All right. Doesn't exactly help because we still got the flanking now, <laughs> uh, and we can still attack into all these guys if we really want to. So, I don't. I mean, okay. <laughs> It was a bad target for Journey anyways, but... Or maybe they needed to do it so they could Galvanic Blast, huh? Uh, cause they don't have... They don't have three more artifacts, I guess? Oh, I guess they don't. Alrighty. It's alright. We can recover from that. Ooh, another Viverlin. How nice. But we're gonna lead, and we're gonna get gem hide, and that's it. Wow, and we lost to Gleeful. Oh, what a bummer. All right, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and do this again. All right, we get a couple things. That's good. Tapped out for the turn, though. But we can drop all these next turn. Skyfisher bouncing the prophetic prism. Absolutely. They know what's coming next turn. Big board. Getting bold though. Alright. Start with some lords. We're just tapping everything. We're going all out for these taps. Give them a really nasty board to deal with. Then we'll start swinging back. All right, sure. Now we got some double poisonous, though. And we're going to have double, triple flanking next turn. <laughs> so I'm still in pretty good shape. I 
Oblivion. All right, bye bye, other lord. Which is funny. But funny part is we can still attack in. Triple flanking. That'll do it. Oh, they're taking one of my flankings. They like doing that, don't they? Little do they know. We got another one on the way. Oh, they're not going to be happy to see this. Oh, sorry. Swing, swing. And they're just going to take it and die. Go to one. <laughs> Do they die from poisonous here? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we have double poisonous out, so they just die from that. All right, cool. Well, we win the match. That uh, very weird three-color aggro, Boros aggro with a splash of black, I guess. I don't know. That was kind of pretty janky, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like on the video and a comment below if you're liking the Naya Slivers. Make sure to subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video.